We live in a world that runs on data. It's how Amazon and Netflix know which movies and products to recommend, how Starbucks manages a global supply chain, and how Uber connects drivers with passengers in real time. But the thing is, data skills aren't just for tech companies or professional analysts anymore. Everyone works with data to some degree, and everyone can benefit from data literacy skills. In this video, we're covering an important topic that will help you take your data literacy to the next level. One of the most important takeaways from this course is that there is no single universal standard or benchmark for data literacy skills. Instead, we like to talk about data literacy in terms of three distinct levels, conversational, literate, and fluent. Someone with conversational skills can understand general concepts, interpret basic analytical outputs, and ask smart questions, but typically doesn't have the skill set to manipulate raw data or perform technical analysis. These are what we call data interpreters, non-analysts who consume and potentially make decisions based on data or outputs shared with them. This might be an HR or marketing manager, an L&D director, or even a C-level executive. Those who fall in the literate category are able to interpret, manage, and analyze data for relatively simple, descriptive, or diagnostic analyses, but typically have limited experience conducting more advanced analyses or presenting insights and recommendations to stakeholders. We call this group citizen analysts because although they may not have analyst in their job title, they often leverage data in their role. A citizen analyst might be a sales rep using data to target better leads, a product engineer using A-B tests to improve the website UX, a finance associate building models to forecast revenue, maybe even a junior analyst still developing their skills. And of course, those who are truly fluent in data literacy have the skills to think strategically, design and conduct complex analyses, and clearly communicate insights and implications to both technical and non-technical audiences. These are data specialists, seasoned professionals whose primary role is to work with data. This includes business intelligence analysts, data scientists, data engineers, etc. Now, let me pause for a moment and make one point extremely clear. The goal is not to get everyone to a fluent level of data literacy, and these are not steps along a path that everyone is expected to follow. The real goal is to empower employees of all types and at all levels with the skills they need to succeed in their specific role, even if that only requires conversational level skills. Next up, let's talk about how these data literacy levels, conversational, literate, and fluent, map to the core skills we discussed earlier the ability to interpret, manage, analyze, and communicate with data. Now, let me preface by saying that these are intended to serve as examples, and our goal here is really just to help illustrate the types of skills we tend to see at various levels of literacy. Of course, there are always exceptions depending on the context, so this really isn't a definitive set of rules or guidelines. Let's start by talking about how people with conversational literacy skills interpret, manage, analyze, and communicate with data. Remember that these are data interpreters, so they tend to skew much more towards data interpretation and basic data management skills, like reading and understanding basic tables, charts, and metrics, accessing data stored in spreadsheets, and perhaps performing basic actions like data entry or manipulating rows, columns, and cells. In terms of data analysis and communication, you might see someone with conversational skills applying basic filtering and sorting techniques to explore tabular data sets, or participating in data conversations by sharing relevant facts and figures and asking thoughtful questions about data being presented to them. Again, much less likely for someone in this category to be the one conducting analyses, building visuals, or presenting data-driven insights to others. That's much more common to see among those who fall in the literate category. These are citizen analysts who skew towards data interpretation and management skills, but also leverage common tools for data analysis and visualization. They can understand and draw conclusions from data presented to them in multiple formats, like visuals, reports, or dashboards. They can interact with multiple data sources, identify common QA issues, and manipulate and structure tables for analysis and they can use tools like formulas, charts, and maybe even pivot tables to identify patterns and trends in the data. In some cases, citizen analysts may also use data visualization to share findings, support decisions, or communicate information and ideas to others, 
but they tend to be more likely to use these techniques to impact their own work rather than presenting insights and recommendations to other stakeholders. And that takes us to our final category, our data specialists, who are more or less fluent across all of these skills categories. And I say more or less because everyone has strengths and weaknesses, roles often have a distinct focus, and it's not uncommon at all for a professional analyst or data scientist to over-index in one or two of these areas. For example, a data visualization specialist would likely skew heavily towards the analysis and communication side, while a data engineer might spend 90% of their day on data management tasks like building ETL pipelines. But to give you some examples of what fluency can look like in these areas, a data specialist is typically able to interpret data presented in virtually any format, including reports and dashboards, complex or custom visuals, and depending on the role, maybe even machine learning model algorithms and outputs. They may be able to design ETL workflows to extract, transform, and load data from multiple sources, build relational models, and engineer new fields and features for analytics or machine learning. They often leverage a range of tools, techniques, languages, and models to analyze data in all shapes and sizes, and they can use data visualization and storytelling techniques to clearly communicate insights and inspire stakeholders to act which remember is what this game is all about. So I'd encourage you to take some time to think about which category you fall into, where you aspire to get to, and begin to assess how your skills compare to some of the examples shown here. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more, we've got a brand new Data Literacy Foundations course, and it's entirely free. You can check it out at mavenanalytics.io. So whether you're an individual looking to build confidence, a leader seeking to empower and upskill your team, or a data professional just trying to stay ahead of the curve, this is the course for you. We've got a lot to cover, so let's dive in.